Hi everyone, in this video, we will look at how to set up localization in .NET MVC project. So the first thing we need to do is scaffold the project using .NET new MVC output to this particular directory command. So I have already done that, so I will dive right in. So the first thing we need to do is tell .NET how many languages we are going to support. So in this particular case, we will be supporting these two languages that is Marathi and English. You may wonder from where I got the short codes, right? So there is a Wikipedia page uh, which lists all the language codes and you can choose, you can look at here from set one and choose the one, the language, one code corresponding to, corresponding to your language, right? So that's how I found the uh, codes. So next thing we need to do is tell .NET where to find the resource files where translations reside so uh, we will be storing our translations in under resources folder that is here so i will tell dotnet to look into this particular folder next thing we need to tell dotnet is out of the languages that we specified which language is the default language which we can tell using here let me import the thing so the first line tells dotnet that use marathi as the default language and this tells the what languages we are currently supporting and if the fallback is true or not so the way dotnet determines the what localization to show is uh, based on this strategies which dotnet internally has and the strategies are based on the query string parameter cookies and accept language header so what dotnet does is to determine the localization it goes one by one to all the mentioned policies and checks if that policy yields a value of localization if it yields a value it will not check go any further checking and then it will use that particular localization so in this particular case uh, this is the order in which the policies are defined internally in dotnet so the what dotnet will do is it will first check if the language is mentioned in the url in the form of query string if it is then instead of checking remaining two policies it will tell it will use the localization for that particular language and so on and so forth right so uh, what we are uh, so the part i have commented here basically tells dotnet to disregard all the three policies uh, and we can then tell dotnet our own custom policy give dotnet our own custom policy which it can use to determine the localization in our case i have commented out this section because i will be using these policies to show you how localization works using these three policies and next thing we need to do is add the localization support in controllers and views using this commands let me resolve this so this tells dotnet to use the localization for views and this particular tells dotnet to use localization for data annotation so let me dive bit into what data annotations are uh, there must be a documentation here somewhere yeah so found it and so this particular code tells .NET, this particular code add data annotation localization tells .NET to use localization for data annotation. So data annotations are the annotations mentioned on the fields in a class object. So whenever uh, we need to use these messages in any form and we need to localize these messages, we can use resource files to mention the corresponding translations and after adding the line, .NET will use corresponding translations for this particular strings internally. So that is that. So let's move forward and then we will tell .NET to use uh, the data annotation and the, the localization. So then we need to scroll down over here. We need to mention we need to create the request localization option mention the same what is the default language and all
and then we can add the localization option to the pipeline using this and now the program.cs file is set up so let's see how we can use the data localization in the views and all so first under views as we will be using data annotation data localization in views so let's create a folder called views and we will be using data annotation uh, localization for the home view so let's create a folder home and if we open the controller for the home route then we will see there are multiple routes returning the views right so for this particular demo we will be using index route to showcase localization so i will create a resource file for the particular index route so the way we will create is index dot whatever we mentioned here right this short codes we need to use while creating the resource file so in this particular case we will be we are creating resource files for index route let's let's say english yeah the file is done right so let's create another one for the other language index dot emma dot this so uh, i will so as the two files are created let's add things into translation so let's give it a name title let's say hello and i will copy paste the thing from the other window yeah so we have one translation mentioned in the resources file so we are set up so let's try and run a program so let's do one thing let's import import the localizer to be used in views so we will import and then under index we will add the lo localization support so instead of saying welcome we will reference the translations that we mentioned here so the translation name is name right so that's why we'll be mentioned localizer and then title and the look you might be must be wondering from where the localizer is coming up right so we have imported localizer in the view import so we no longer need to impo import the localizer in individual files and so now it should work let's see run the program let's see if the it picks up from the url parameter yeah the translations are working right as you as you saw it changed from english to marathi so we know the policies mentioned in dot net as i showed you earlier are working fine this strategies using query parameter accept language providers and etc etc so the, we will do one more thing we will set up dot net to use path based routing so we will uh, first see why we need the path based routing so as for google uh, whenever we use path parameters to specify localization that's a good practice and using query parameters to specify localization is not recommended at all so this may yield some kind of benefit in seo so we will set up set this up right now so first thing we need to do is my go to program.cs file and scroll down come right here and use copy paste these two lines here let's add now your website is set up for the path based routing so let's run run again let's do slash mr
Yeah, I forgot to add one more thing. So let's move to localize. Let's change the endpoint URLs as we are, will be using localization parameter right here, right? So let's add the localization. Save and let's see now. Yeah, it works. Let's change it to English. Yeah, it works. Change it to Emma again. Yeah. So this is how you will be able to set up localization using either query based scheme, cookie based scheme, and uh, for SEO, SEO friendliness, URL-based scheme. So that's all. See you again later. Thank you. Bye.